Hey, what is up guys? Mike here, owner of Mac Financial Group. Really excited to start with the YouTube. We've been wanting to do this for so long, um, but we're finally doing it. So our plan is to post every Sunday. Uh, to start, probably going to be doing a lot of QuickBook tips, but we want to start getting into small business insights, um, what's going on in the world, how does it affect you. Um, so again, really excited to start. Thanks for being here. Um, if you if you like what you're hearing, please subscribe, um, put the alerts on so you see when our next video comes out every Sunday, so you know when it, when to, when to watch it. Um, but for this video in particular, we're going to start our job costing series. So this will be pretty much for the construction businesses, the landscaping businesses, any, any business that really does services by the job and they can track their job profitability and see how they're doing each job. Um, so I was really excited when Intuit started offering these features on QuickBooks Online when they first came out. They, they didn't have this. So what we're going to focus on is the project module today. Really high level, how it works, how you can start incorporating it in your business today. Uh, and then as the next videos come out, we'll get more detailed information. Um, but again, functionality today, how you can set it up, how you can start using it. So let's dive in and let's see how it works. All right, so let's get right into it. The first thing that you're going to need to do is turn on the projects feature in QuickBooks Online. So you'll go to the gear icon at the top right and choose account and settings. And once it loads up, you'll choose advanced. And there's a projects line item right here. So you'll usually have a pencil here. Click the pencil, turn it on, and it's going to prompt you that this is permanent. Once it's turned on, you can't turn it off, uh, which is fine. You're going to be using it. It's not going to be a big deal. So go ahead, turn that on, and close out of the settings. And once you're back at your company dashboard, on the left here, in this left navigation bar, you're going to see this project section show up now. So we'll just click in, do a quick run through. Uh, they do have some videos of how it works. Um, but now you'll see a list of all your projects here listed out for you real clean. Uh, once you have them, you can filter by status. If it's completed, canceled, or in progress, you can filter by customer if you have multiple projects for the same customer. Uh, and you can do a new project right here. You can convert from a sub customer, which we're going to go over in a later video, and you can change your hourly cost rate for your employees or contractors when you're tracking their time. So um, let's say you have a new potential customer and you need to send them an estimate. We're actually going to send the estimate first before we create the project. Um, just because for whatever reason they could decline the estimate and you don't want to create the project that you might not use. I found it to be easier. My clients like that as well. So we're going to create the estimate first. So we're going to go into sales, all sales, new transaction, and we're going to send your new potential customer a estimate. So I'm just going to choose a customer. You'll probably put in a new one. We're going to choose Joey Barton today. You're going to put their email in, make sure their address is correct, all the dates, and any additional information there is filled in. And you're going to perform services for $15,000. Great. And then you will choose save and send to make sure it sends to your new customer so that they can accept or decline the estimate that you sent. So let's say they accepted it and we're going to go in and do that manually right now. So Joey Barton accepts the estimate. And now you know you're going to do the work. So click save and close. Now you know you're going to do the work. You see the status is accepted. You're ready to start. So first thing you want to do now is create the project. So now we go into the project section. Go into new project. The project name is Joey's Kitchen. And the customer was Joey Barton. And we're going to save. 
So now you have a new project. And this is the, the dashboard view of Joey's kitchen project. So you'll see that here's the customer. It's linked to this customer. You can change, change the status right here. Uh, any notes that you have for the project can go right here and you can pin it to the top if this wants something you're working on or it's a high priority project. You can edit anything you want and you can add to the project right here. Invoice, receive payment, time, bill, all these options are right in here for you. Um, this is my favorite part. It really does lay out nicely. You're going to see all the invoices that are assigned to the project right here with totaling up to an income, all expenses, hours, and bills listed right here, totaling your expenses. And then you'll clearly see the profit or loss that you're having for this project in real time as you put these things in. Uh, there's also a detailed transaction section where you can get a little more information and filter on certain transactions. Time activity if you have employees or contractors that are working on the project and you've been tracking their time. And project reports that allow you to view this really simply without having to navigate the report section and make any custom reports. So now that we've created the project, they've accepted the estimate, we're actually gonna go and assign that estimate to the project now. So here's that estimate that's accepted and we're gonna change the customer to, and let me refresh my screen. So that estimate will pop back up here and now now you have the project that you just created, Joey's Kitchen, right here under the customer that you sent it to. So we're going to actually change that to Joey's Kitchen to make sure it pops up and it's linked to the project. So we're going to do that, save and close. And I do want to go over one thing. So we just linked the estimate to the project. But if we go into the project section... and we go to Joey's Kitchen, you'll see that there's still no income. And that's correct, actually. The estimate is a non-posting transaction. So you're not going to see estimates in your income ever, even in your profit loss statement, anything like that. So you do know that it's linked, though, because we can go back into the sales section and see that it's linked to the project, but you won't see it until you create the invoice. So let's let's create the invoice off of this estimate now, and you'll you'll see how it shows up. So now we're going to create invoice, and make sure again the email address, your terms are right, how you would like them to pay, all that stuff. Make double check that all these rates and services that you're performing are all correct sales tax calculating properly and on the right services do that check and then save and send that to your customer and now that the invoice is created and it's sent to your customer you go back into the project section here and now we're going to see that show up as fifteen thousand dollars of income for this project so now you want to get started right away right so you're going to start buying materials that you need for the project and I'm going to show you how to assign the expense to the project. So let's create an expense by going to expense, expenses. We have a new transaction, expense, and your payee, let's say you bought something from Ace Plumbing, um, you choose your checking account or your credit card, whatever you use, whatever date you purchased it, if it was cash, card, check, any reference numbers, things like that that you might need. And then I'm just going to put the cost of goods sold for, let's say you spent $7,000 on materials. And you'll see here, there's this project, customer project section you'll choose Joey's Kitchen for that customer project section now 
for and this is going to be pretty much the drop down or categorization you're going to need for every project every transaction associated with this project now so keep that in mind um, but just because we did that and we save and close now go back into the project section and you're going to see now this project has fifteen thousand dollars of income seven thousand dollars of cost and your profit is eight thousand dollars so really quick easy tool um I, I really, my clients love it. I think it's great for them. A lot of my clients that I started using this were really able to take a hold of their business and start to see why they weren't making money before or where to focus their, their where they wanted to focus their services on because of what, what, made, what made them more money, things like that. Um, having this level of detail later is going to be huge. You'll be able to quick, create estimates quicker because you had similar projects and you know how you did or how you how much it cost before so especially say you know an estimate goes out but as you do the project and go through the project sometimes you know things go wrong or you needed more material than you thought and you had to increase the invoice once you start doing this, you can always refer back to these projects and really refine your estimates so that they're more accurate from the beginning so you're not changing it all up on your customers often during the project, which can be an issue. Um, so yeah, great, great tool. And like I said, once you're done, you can change it to a completed status. You can go to all your projects. You can see that it doesn't show up here anymore when it's completed, but you can always filter on your completed projects. Um, so I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did and think you're going to start using it, please click the like button and stick around for the next video. We're going to go into more detail on how to use this and how to actually compare to budgets, create a budget, uh, how to use time tracking and other apps that allow you to do time tracking so a lot of good stuff coming up there's a lot of features that quickbooks offers um this was just a high level view of of this right now um so i hope you liked it click the like button and you guys have a great day